All right, boys, today's video is a little bit different. We're not going to look at anything in terms of gameplay or game modes or anything like that. We're just going to look at my account and my roster and how much money I've spent on the game to get to where I'm at right now in the game. All right. So uh, first things first, let's go look at my roster because this is really where you spend a lot of money in the game if you do want to spend money on the game. So in the bottom right, you can see my roster threat, which is 16 million. That's a little bit low considering the fact that I've played this game since launch, but I've taken a lot of breaks from the game and I've also not really spent that much money in the game. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in the end because not spending a lot of money can mean different things to different people, right? Everybody has different incomes and the amount of the, the value for money is different depending on where you live, right? For me, in, in, in my opinion, and also considering the fact that you could spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in this game to try to max out only a fraction of these characters, in my opinion, the amount of money I've spent has not really been that high. But I'll talk a little bit more about that in the end, okay? The first thing I want to talk about is Raven. Raven is the best $50 I've ever spent in this game. Okay, and as a matter of fact, whenever people ask me what they should buy in the game, if they're thinking about buying something, Raven is the first thing I recommend. All right, look, Beta Club is great, but if you want to go buy artifacts, you have to get lucky, right? Because you have to buy them in these packs. It's almost like a chest. You have to get lucky even if you're spending money. For this character, at the very least, if you spent the $50, you're guaranteed to get the character. Now, if you do want to spend 100 bucks to get a four-star Raven, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that if somebody's going to ask me what they should be paying for in the game, I feel like only spending 50 bucks is not that bad considering the fact that this character, even at three stars, is going to greatly increase the amount of damage that you can do and it's going to speed up the process of defeating bosses by so much. It's just, it's, it's just crazy, man. This is the best $50 I've ever spent in the game for sure. And as a matter of fact, let me grab my calculator. I'm going to put 50 bucks on the calculator and she's going to be the first thing I wanted to talk about because she's just so, so good. She's so good, man. And I'm going to add another 10 bucks because I spent another $10 on the gears. So for this character alone, I've spent $60. All right. And as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's, that's the only character. That's the only character I've ever bought directly. Oh, aside from Vixen, I bought Vixen very recently. Um, someone told me for three stars, she was $30. So 30 bucks. There you go. For characters that I've bought directly, I've spent $90. All right. So now the next thing I need to look at is gears because I've bought a lot of gears for a lot of characters, especially legendaries. So for Black Manta, I did buy his gear set, which is going to be another 10 bucks. And then uh, for, I know Grodd, I've spent money on Grodd, not Brainiac. Brainiac is a challenge character. So I got his gear pieces from the challenge mode. Um, who else? Oh, Martian Manhunter. I spent $10 on Martian Manhunter. Uh, I did get this character off a of chest though. So I did not buy the character. All right. Uh, for Just League Superman, uh, this character's weird, man. I've never spent any money on this character, but nobody has been able to answer my question as to how I got the gears for this character. I got this character a very long time ago way way before i even spent any money in the game okay i did not pay for anything for this character i have a video from a long time ago of me getting the character but i have no idea how i got the gear pieces from i i don't remember the the only answer that i can think about is daily objectives but everybody keeps telling me that his gears aren't in daily objectives or in the objectives category or whatever so as far as i know I have not spent any money at all in his gears. Definitely not in getting the character. Okay, so 10 more bucks for Gorilla Grodd gears. He's a challenge character, so I don't have to spend money actually getting the character. Uh, Collector World Superman, free character, and his gear pieces are almost set. I just need one more, but I'm not going to pay for it. Uh, so yeah, that character is 100% for free. And Darkseid's gears, you can get them off of the objectives mode. So I didn't spend any money on him. Deathstroke, Deathstroke. I've spent 20 bucks getting this character, which is insane, man. A lot of people spend a lot of money on this character. Not me. <laughs> 20 bucks is all I wanted to spend. Uh, actually, 
I didn't even want to buy the character, but somebody donated money for me to get the character. And it just so happens that I got him in 20 bucks. All right. Off those stupid packs that give you like a 2% chance of getting the character. And as you can see, I have not bought his gears in that same pack of me getting the character. They give you a free gear piece. So for this entire thing, I've only spent 20 bucks. So, so far we are at $140 just talking about characters and their gear pieces. All right. So, uh, the next thing we got to look at is going to be artifacts. This one is going to be a little bit weird because, uh, I think the, I think the, uh, chaos artifacts were 20 bucks. Whereas the Prometheum artifacts were only 10. And I think the kryptonite ones were $10 too. So I don't know. It's a little bit weird, but for these, I've spent 20, 40, 60, 80. Wow, I spent 80 bucks on these artifacts, and none of them are good. So, uh, yeah, that's that for those. I did not spend any money on an Entropy or the Father Box. The God Killer, oh, no, no. The God Killer, I got it from Raids. Uh, the Kryptonite Bullets, 10 bucks. And then these, one. Oh, this is another one of the $20 artifacts. So, 20. Okay, so now it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five. Okay, so 50 bucks. 50 bucks for all of the other artifacts. Like I said, it's a little bit weird because with these purple ones, these Raven artifacts, they were 20 bucks, but the other ones were only $10. I don't know why they increased the cost so much for these, but uh, yeah. Anyways, so far we are at $300. The next thing we're going to go look at is the currencies because I actually just bought a currency. It wasn't that expensive. It's the $20 one that gives you 150 gems per day for 30 days. So uh, this one costs 20 bucks. So that's $20 right there. And as far as I know, I'm pretty sure that's all I've spent money on. I can't can't really put my finger on spending anything else on this game. Um, if I do, I'll come back right now. Give me one second. Okay, so one thing I forgot to talk about was Vixen. Um, I forgot that I spent $10 on the gears. So I talked about buying the character, but I didn't talk about the gears. So let's add another $10. So for right now, as far as I can see, the amount of money that I've spent in this game has been about $330. Now, here's the thing. Last week, I did the math, and I remember I got $350. So somewhere in my roster, I spent $20, and I cannot remember where. So... Just in case, just in case, let's add another 20 bucks. All right. So there you go. That is my final answer right there. I have spent $350 in the game. Now, pause the video right now and go down in the comments section and tell me how much money you've spent in the game. All right. Pause it and go comment. Okay. Now, let's come back to the video. The one thing I really want to talk about is is that a lot of money? Is $350. Or, or, you know, anywhere around that number. Is that a lot of money for this game? Here's my answer. And I am not being biased. I promise you I am not. I will explain. Okay? No. I do not think that's a lot of money. Only, only because the amount of money that you can potentially spend in this game, the amount of money that you could spend on this game is so high that this $350 that I've spent is nothing nothing let me explain let's go look at a legendary character 100 bucks 100 bucks if you want to get this character at four stores 200 bucks plus i don't know i don't know exactly how much but it would easily be 200 bucks if you wanted to get this character to four to uh seven stores right so just in this one character alone if you wanted to buy him thankfully i didn't I got this character off of chests, but if you wanted to buy this character at seven stores, you're easily dropping 200 bucks on one character. Now, that's just the character. If you really, really want to max out this character quick, you're going to go buy the gears, 10 bucks, 10 bucks right there. You're going to spend an additional, maybe 50, 50 bucks getting the gears all the way up to level 70. Because getting the gears to the highest level takes a long time. It takes a lot of gear material. I think it's more than 3 million, right? So the gears plus the gear material, 60 bucks right there. Now, 
if you also want to get the beta club for this character, eh, let's say about 40 to $50, right? So about that much, uh, when you add everything up, that amount of money is 300 bucks on one character. 300 bucks, seven star Black Manta, maxed out gears and a beta club. Granted, you're going to be able to use the beta club with other characters, but I'm just, I'm giving you an example, right? You can spend 300 bucks on one character easily, easily. So in my opinion, spending $350 over the last four years, and also me having a YouTube channel that makes me money for playing the game, it's not that bad. 350 bucks is not that bad in my opinion. I've gotten gems, I've gotten gear material, I've gotten gears, I've gotten characters. I'm good, I'm happy. I am happy with the amount of money that I've spent in this game compared to what I actually have in the game. You know what I mean? So, in my opinion, if you do want to spend a lot of money in this game, it's just it's just wild to think about how much is a lot of money in this game because one character is 300 bucks and I understand a lot of you guys out there make a lot of money, a lot more money than I do, right? But even then, does that really justify spending a thousand dollars in the game? You know, that, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And I just, yeah, you might be able to max out Black Manta and Raven and I don't know, I don't know, Gorilla Grodd or something, right? But like, that's $900. That's $900. Is it really worth it? Even though you could spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 maxing out all of these characters, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I don't think that's a fair comparison. So if you are going to spend a lot of money on this game or a lot of money in this game, I think it should be, I don't know, maybe over the course of your entire lifetime, if you play the game for like five years, maybe spend like $300. Because if you're going to spend 60 bucks a year in this game, you're already missing out on going out and buying an entire game, right? Every single year. If you spend 60 bucks on a real game for like a console or a PC, you get an entirely brand new game with new content with a lot of stuff to be doing. If you spend more than that on this game alone, it's not worth it in my opinion because you're only buying, you're you're playing a mobile game, right? It's not the same and you're only going to go play raids. So like at that point, I just don't feel like you would make a good return spending more than $60 in this game because you can go out and just buy a real game. You know what I mean? And on top of that, let's just be honest, bro. Let's just be honest. Does it really fucking matter if you do a lot of damage in raids? You're not comp- You're not competing with anybody. Does it really matter? I don't know. I, I just know that I spent money on the game because I have a YouTube channel. Before I had YouTube... I, I, nothing. I didn't spend nothing in this game. The only reason why I did was because the only reason why I did spend money is because I have a YouTube channel. And even then, that amount of money, 350 bucks, in my worst in my worst month, I can do way more than 350 bucks, right? So like even compared to my YouTube channel revenue, 350 bucks is nothing. It's nothing. Like I, I could easily make that back. So I, I'm almost kind of proud of myself. To be able to say that because I feel like I have a good account for only spending 350 bucks and I also take a lot of breaks from the game. All right. So let me know how much money you spend in the game because I'm really curious. I'm, I really want to know. I really want to know how much money did you spend in the game? All right. And don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. All right. I really want to know. With that being said, hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe and stay clean and I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching.